Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released a major update for Windows 10 22H2 to insiders in the release preview channel, which is KB5032278. And this update will be our next optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 10, which will take the build to 19045.3754. So if we head to the calendar once again, uh, today we are on the 17th, this update rolled out on the 16th, so I would expect uh, the update to either roll out next week Tuesday, if we don't see it next week Tuesday, I would suggest it would roll out then the following Tuesday, but nonetheless in the next week or so, KB5032278 will be making its way officially to Windows 10. Now, the big one with this update is that Microsoft is going to be introducing Copilot in Windows 10. And I have posted on this previously, and this is now official. Copilot is coming to uh, Windows 10. Now, at this stage, it seems that it might have a little bit of a difference in functionality more suited to Windows 10 users than Windows 11. But at the heart and foundation, the Copilot, the centralized AI system coming to the Windows 10 desktop will be more or less the same as what we find currently in Windows 11. Now, here we can see the Copilot in Windows button for Windows 10. If we just zoom in here, I don't know if you can actually see that in the video, but the Copilot button is going to appear on the right side of the taskbar. So when you select a Copilot in the Windows, appears on the right side of the screen, exactly the same as what we get in Windows 11. And uh, it will not overlap with desktop content or block open app Windows, says Microsoft. Now, just take notice of this fact, though, that Microsoft says that Copilot in Windows in preview is rolling out for devices running Windows 10 version 22H2 Home and Pro Editions that meet the requirements. And those requirements to be able to run Copilot on Windows 10 are these. Your device requires four gigabytes of RAM and a display adapter that supports 720p or above resolution. Microsoft says that if they do detect that your device may have an issue such as an application incompatibility, they may put a safeguard hold in place and not offer Copilot in Windows in preview until that issue is resolved. So just take note, if you are running four gigabytes or less than four gigabytes of RAM, which I don't think most would with Windows 10, else it wouldn't really be able to run, and you are um, not supporting 720p or above, you will not be able to use Copilot when it eventually does roll out to the stable version. So just take note of that. Now, Microsoft says that if you do find yourself in the release preview channel, if you want to try out Copilot um, now, basically as soon as possible, then the same feature that we do find in Windows 11 will be making its way into Windows Update for Windows 10. That's the feature to get the latest updates as soon as they are available. And then you can check for updates. So basically, um, that's a new feature rolling out in this um, latest optional bug fix update. So I said quite a major update. So we're getting two Windows 11 features. We're getting Copilot and we're getting get the latest updates as soon as they're available toggle. Now, just something else to take note of. Microsoft says that Windows 10 Pro Edition devices on version 22H2 that are managed by organizations will not be included in the initial rollout of Copilot in Windows. And Windows 10 Enterprise and Education Edition devices on version 22H2 will also not be included in the initial rollout of Copilot in Windows. So at this stage, uh, it's basically rolling out for um, devices running Windows 10 Home and Pro Editions. Now, this takes us to our first new feature, as mentioned, that is rolling out by default with this latest optional bug fix update currently in its final stages of testing. And when it does roll out to the stable version, we are going to see get the latest updates as soon as they are available toggle on this page, which means if that's turned on um, very similar to Windows 11, um, you get some of the newest experiences as Microsoft calls them as soon as they are ready. And as I've mentioned previously though, um, the fact that Microsoft now is focusing a little bit more on Windows 10, I seriously do doubt that they will be ending support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October, 2025. But nonetheless, Nice to see that Windows 10 is getting a bit of um, improvements 
when it comes to those features. Now, something else to take note of is there are three other new features. So we are getting four new features in total. And this update adds new functionality that affects app defaults. Apparently, the news and interests feature is now going to be larger. So this news and interests feed is going to be a much larger um, fly out, very similar to what we are getting in Windows 11. So that's almost three uh, Windows 11 features now that are making their way into this next optional update for Windows 10. Microsoft says this will help you use the feature more effectively and show the content you care about most on a larger scale. And I certainly hope, though, they give us an option, though, to be able to change that actual size of the news and interest feed. And then the last new feature, the update adds Windows Update opt-in notifications to the screen when you sign in. Now, if you do want to stick around, because this is a non-security optional bug fix update, just to go through and mention these quickly as to some of the bug fixes um, that I think most of you may be interested in. The update affects the Netherlands time zone. Apparently, it adds the recent man-made landmass outside of Rotterdam to the shape files. Moving on to the next, um, the update addresses an issue that affects non-admin processes. Apparently, game performance goes down and the video stutters. So that's a bit of a nice stability and performance improvement. And then the update addresses an issue that affects the cursor. Apparently, um, its movement lags in the screen, in some screen capture scenarios. So that's been addressed. And the update addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard. Apparently, it might not appear during the out-of-box experience. And then we get a couple of Internet Explorer mode, which is found in Microsoft Edge um, fixes. There are three in total. So obviously, Microsoft has been experiencing a couple of uh, Internet Explorer mode issues. So there are three fixes rolling out for Internet Explorer mode. And then um, the final one, just to mention for this video, the update addresses a localization issue for Great Britain English Locales, so that's the Great Britain English um, location. The error message for invalid characters uh, in a new Windows will open is wrong. So that's also being addressed. So there we have it. Copilot is on its way to Windows 10, as mentioned, officially. Uh, we also get get the up get the latest updates as soon as they're available. That's going to appear on the Windows Update page, and also we are getting a larger news and interests feed. So three. Windows 11 features are making their way, um, starting um, with the next optional bug fix C release update, KB5032278, and that's going to be rolling out in the next optional update for Windows 10 version 22H2 over the next coming days. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.